Hi, in this uh, video I want to give an uh, update on some of the new events uh, in uh, Misty Continent and also an update of my account and my alliance. Maybe to start with that, um, a couple of weeks ago I became the leader of the alliance. I took over the um, uh, R5 position, I was R4, and then you can take over the R5 position when your leader is inactive for seven days. In case you're wondering about that, there is just an option uh, in the management menu. There comes an extra option that for 1000 gold, you can uh, take over the R5 position. So if you're ever in a situation like that, you know you have to wait the seven days, wait it out. But I never uh, really planned to be a leader and within my alliance, it's actually difficult already to establish a leadership team to find R4 that's willing to put in some extra time. And I actually also wasn't really willing to put in a lot of extra time so, um, and I also saw that the activity in my alliance uh, was um, uh, yeah, getting less and less quite fast. So I um, was looking for another alliance to merge with and found one uh, where we, yeah, some of us have already moved there. And the idea is that uh, hopefully many of the active players will want to stay together and will move there. And after that, I will, uh, I will join the move and I will focus more on my... Um, now developing my own account, uh, learning the new features, hopefully uh, have some more time to make some videos about it. So that is the status of that. Actually, we're just about to do the gate. And once we have done that, I think um, probably another group uh, of players will move. Personally, I plan to stay behind. I feel a bit like the captain of the ship. I can't jump ship first. I have to wait until most... Um, uh, yeah, until most of the people uh, have left, most of the active players have left. Okay, so let's have a look at the events actually as part of the game update version 1.4. Some new events were introduced. One of them is the Jewel Tide event that actually consists of a number of different events. So the first one you just see this schedule and actually the real events are the glistening christmas tree actually <laughs> it's mostly combined into one event to be honest um, let's look at the christmas lucky star so here you have some daily activities and that are defeat threats collect resources uh, in your estate so that's not gathering and that's collecting alliance helps and um, alliance donations so i've already reached those two and i was actually uh, yeah, I think I will just spend some time in the treats that I actually forgot about this one and was doing the, uh, what's it called? The celestial globe. And of course those don't count for this kind of event. So I was focusing on those, but that didn't work. So when you do that, you get some uh, rewards as items and those rewards you can use in the glistening Christmas tree. Here you can, so the, the, those are these kind of things that you get here. And here, uh, when you have enough, so each five you have, you can click uh, click on there and then you get a random uh, position here and for that position yeah you get some uh, very small rewards and once you have a whole row a whole column or row completed then you get the chest and those are uh, those are a little bit uh, nicer the rewards still not very special but it is uh, okay the christmas promise is just a daily uh, goodie that you get for logging in and as I said, the white Christmas is um, just kind of an indication of those three Christmas tree. And two, from what I've seen, nothing else. Oh yeah, maybe something more will be unlocked here. So probably we get something else later on. But at this, uh, yeah, at this moment, it is just kind of links to the other events. So that is what is um, new in that event. We have the Lucky Egg event. I think I've seen this before, something very similar, or maybe that's from another game. But this is, yeah, as far as I've seen, more focused on spenders. You can crack eggs, but those eggs you have to uh, purchase. Haven't found a way to do activity to get them. And once you uh, have cracked them, you can get some good, some credits that you can use to exchange in the shop and get some yeah, relatively, maybe for some people, nice things. I'm not too too impressed with that. I think I got one free egg, which I used to get some of those uh, credits, but not sure what I'm going to buy with that. So this, from my point of view, actually not such an interesting event. The other event that is uh, um, that we have 
oh this is pure top of event what which one was i think about this one uh, which is a bit similar to another event that i've seen only then i think it was in a, in a circle but now you get these rewards and you can either spend gold or you get uh, i think a free um, a free attempt every day so you can also use those free uh, attempts and then you can get some uh, goodies i think this is always kind of um, with these kind of things they are not really random the chances that you uh, that you get otherwise it would of course be very good i mean not equally random i should say so otherwise it would of course be very good to uh, spend those 300 because maybe every uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty every 14 attempts you get uh, 777,777 uh, yeah, seven, seven gold coins. That would be very nice, but that is definitely not going to be the case. Most likely, I mean, the first shot I got 300 actually with the free attempt, but most likely you will get the less interesting reward for your gold. Uh, okay, um, is there anything else? I'm yeah, I kind of have decided to fast track my development uh, to go to Stronghold uh, 20 and Academy 20 first before uh, going to, I still have this at 18, and only after that start working to getting my troop, troop training buildings up to 19. They are not there yet, so I'm still training the old troops. The idea is that uh, I feel that the extra March slot that I get from um, Academy 20 and the extra research I can also do from uh, Academy 20 to increase the sulfur gathering and production is going to help me more with my growth. So I find it more important to do those first. And after that, I will uh, probably spend some time catching up with my other buildings to level 20. I'm still a bit far away, uh, but I'm uh, yeah, I'm getting closer. I'm. Um, Having my warehouse, uh, warehouse, sorry, warehouse, warehouse now being upgraded to 19, and that meets, I think, should meet both of my prerequisites. And then it is, uh, yeah, time to start working on the silver. I have some uh, stock, but not uh, this many, I think. So I probably have to work on that for one or two days. But uh, yeah, I think that this uh, should work quite well. And for the rest, I, yeah, stone might also be an issue, so I might also have to work on that a bit. But the, the food and the magic crystals should be fine. So that is something I'm going to uh, focus on in the next uh, couple of days. I think my team is about to run gate. So I will join on that. I hope um, they are going to start soon so that I can still join in this video. And then we'll see about that well maybe okay yeah they join okay anyway uh they open it um anyway uh, maybe i will just leave it uh like well i will just join one rally um actually yeah i normally i haven't really made a good preset but normally i uh for these kind of things i have a preset that focuses not much on inventory and not on sheets at all i hope this one and then uh, just focus on uh, getting um, uh, having different uh, cavalry and uh, shooters because they do most of the damage in my experience i haven't done a lot of experiencing experimenting with it. with it this is more based on my knowledge from similar games so i should do that more as well and hopefully i have more time for these kind of things in the weeks uh, to come okay um well that was it for this update if you have any comments or any questions that is always much appreciated and thanks for watching this video